Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Cyber Gaming Studios. Today's video, I'm going to do this tutorial. I'm going to show you on how to actually format your PS4 hard drive without using the, the PS4 to do it for yourself. So you can actually have a complete full formatted hard drive and you can reinstall the OS on here. So I'm gonna, in this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to do it this way instead of the normal way. If you're trying to install the PS4 OS normal way, then you don't need this. You just skip to the part where... We're installing the operating system onto the PS4 and you'll be all happy and dandy. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need your PS4 exactly. You're gonna need you're gonna need a computer. Since I don't have a uh, if you have a small computer like this and I since I don't, it doesn't have like a disk drive built into it, what you're gonna need is one of these. This is like external disk drive. It can read discs, not Blu-ray, it doesn't have to be Blu-ray unless the computer supports it. And it comes with a it should come with a USB to plug into the computer, and it will read off of this. And then next thing you're going to need is a is a screwdriver. It looks like this. It looks like a star screwdriver. I know you guys can't see because it's too shiny. But you're going to probably need one of these because you do need to switch the hard drive from the PS4 to your computer. And then make sure you put your hard drive to to that goes to your, directly to your computer to the side so you guys you don't switch it and get mixed up and you actually format the wrong one. So, and then what else you're going to need, lastly you're going to need is, you're going to need is the win a Windows 7, or it doesn't matter what kind of Windows, as long as it goes to proprietary to your binary of your computer, doesn't matter. And we're going to not install, we're not going to install Windows, we're just going to use this because it has a formatting tool in it. So, you can actually use an installation tool, and um, I use that as an installation tool, but don't install in Windows, we're just formatting it. Once you actually format it, then all you need to do is just turn off the computer. So... Let's get started guys and then I'll, I'll see you guys in just a second. Now that we're here, you have to make sure be sure that we're back and now all you have to do is make sure that the 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 cover for your PS4 is, is exposed and as well since this one doesn't have I don't have to like remove the whole computer. I can just remove the bottom part and it shows the hard drive right here and I can just pull it out. But first off, we're going to work on to the PS4. So the first thing you need to do is that you need to remove this screw. You don't need to move any other screw around it. All you need to do is take your screwdriver and unscrew that screwdriver. It should spin it. And make sure you put this little screw to the side because you're going to need this later when you want to put back your hard drive. And that's pretty much it. So now we're going to, we're going to, now you can see I took it out, place it to the side like right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two fingers and your two fingers and then pull it outwards slowly. Don't put it too rapidly because you don't want to damage the hard drive. And then flip it over. Your hard drive is right here, and all you need to do is just unscrew these four screwdrivers, these four screws. These are holding the hard drive in place. And that's pretty much all you have to do. For this one, you have to do the same thing, but all you need to do is make sure you have a flap. You can actually use your screwdriver if you want to lift up a back flap if you want. If you, if that's in case, and then there you go, then lift it backwards, put, 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 go up, and you get released the hard drive. There you are, and almost a difference. So look at if you're trying to disassemble your computer just to get the hard drive to switch it. Be sure to actually look at ifixit.com. I'll leave that link in the description for you guys to check out and look for an exact model to your computer so you can do it. And if you're doing this with your parents and you're living with your parents, please have your parents' permission before you're doing this. I'm not responsible for anything. Um, that you do to your computer. However, I just request you guys to look for permission. This is up to your parents if they allow you. But if you're at home and you do that and you live on your own, then you don't have to worry about this. And that's all you have to do. So let's actually first let's disassemble the. Let's take out the screws for the computer hard drive. I'm gonna have to. I'll, I'll actually. I'll actually continue when we uh, and I'll show you guys when we have it disassembled. And now that we have actually this is the PS4 hard drive into the thing, all you need to do is just ensure that you know you have other screws in. Just only screw one screw around one side of the of one side, and then screw the opposite side, so you guys can actually have it will be able to be holded by the hard drive, and you guys actually can you know hold it in place without having it move. So be a careful when you actually do mount with hard drives because they are more sensitive. This is like the this is like a um, the storage where the operating system holds. So what you're going to do is to Gently place it into your computer. Sometimes you have to slide it in, and then instantly slide it in. Sometimes you might, depending on where it is, is that. Then there you go. We got to slide it in. You don't have to actually really push this in just quite yet because we're gonna be removing this anyways. And that's all you need to do to do for this step. Now that you guys have your computer installed, it's gonna give you this error. All you need to do is just 
take your Windows disk and place it into the drive. Make sure you have to, when you have to turn on the computer to actually or put this to a source to put it in and then plug it in if you want to, but we have it plugged in. And then close it. And then we're going to be pressing a key. And since it's not doing that, we all have all we have to do is just press control alt delete. And then hopefully it will boot and, and say to press any key to boot into into the device. If you actually want to actually, you know, get into BIOS, all you have to do is while it boots up, press and, and keep tapping F2 and it'll get into BIOS. And then all you have to do is switch it from if you're on this kind of computer, then you switch it to USB and then USB FDD and then there you go. And then it'll, it'll and then you can save it and then reboot and it will read the disk. Right now it's really windows is loading files and that's pretty much what you're going to be doing today. And then after this step, um, then we'll be going back into reassembling it. And I won't actually go back to re reassemble for you guys. I'll be showing you actually how to install the operating system after you do it. So that if you really want to, you know, see the how to install Windows, how to install the PS4 operating system back, then just skip to the video to the that point. And I actually have that point of where you guys can skip in the description. So you can actually check it out later in the video so it's going to take a bit to actually load so yeah so let's be aware just make sure that you know your touchpad is working and it's going to say starting windows and just remember it's not it's not rooting off the hard drive it's rooting off the disk that's why it's, you can see this and it's only running in the installer right now and let it get up let it get up uh, oh my god i clean this you can tell the screen needs to be clean i don't know what happened on the screen so now it actually loads up. I know that I'm actually running this on on on, on the TV, and yes, it can actually do this on the TV with without no operating system installed. So yeah. So it does take a bit. So just be patient, guys. If you go on a skip a little bit more ahead than this, then you guys can. I apologize for the convenience. It's like the longest time. Well, guys, I'm actually gonna end it right now, and then I'll switch, I'll I'll come back to when when it does load up. And now we're back, and now we have loaded up the setup. All you have to do is just choose your language. Doesn't matter, really matter, um, depending on your language. And then click next. Click accept license terms because you can't do anything until you accept it. Then what it's going to do is going to take you to this partition. It's going to take you to all this partition and all you need to do is to, to delete all everything you need what you need to do is like you have all this disk partition you have all this so what you're going to do is go to the drive options and we're going to click delete just delete them all don't worry if they show up they'll all disappear once you Once you know they just once you delete all of them, actually, don't know why the PS4 has to have all this stuff inside of it. I don't understand. It's probably like backup stuff. Who knows. I mean, don't worry about those guys. Usually when you switch a hard drive, the PS4 automatically does it. So that's the stuff. I don't know why. It's just thinking, I, think it's, I think it's a lot of memory they take. I don't know if this is actually necessary to need be needed. But uh, it's no worries if you delete it because it's just the same thing as, as if uh, you buy a new hard drive. It won't have these partitions. That's why the PS4 does it for you. And I really suck doing this. <laughs> so just make sure you did delete all of them. You don't have to format them if you don't want to. I just d delete them because it, it, any anything that has like such as because since you know free BSD is not really which is the PS4 I'm running on. This is not fully secured. There is some kind of times viruses can hide in these partitions, 
and you never know it. And it's going to cause problems with your PS4 and stuff like that. So you just want to clear them out and just ensure, you know, everything goes good. So now you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to make a new one. All you have to do is just turn off. All you have to do is just turn off the computer by pressing the power button. And it will turn off. All you have to do is disconnect everything. Unplug everything. There we go. And then now we can just take the hard drive out. Pull it out slowly, and there you go. The hard drive is now fully formatted, and now we can put it back into the PS4. Since I already disassembled it, PS4, and you already saw that, I was, I was, I'll come back when I have the PS4 set up for you guys to install, and you guys can check that out. So you guys can skip right now if you guys want to, and we'll see you then. Now, since I have the PS4 set up, I'm going to be showing you in just a moment that I do have a setup, and we're going to be on that in just a minute. So all you have to do is go into Google and search a PS4 system update. You're going to be presented with the one that looks like in purple. PS4 system software update latest version 3.15. Don't worry about that because it's just because Google's bot just gets information from previous, uh, previous update. And it's going to take you to system update and it's going to say latest version 4.07. Now when you actually do install, do not click on download update. Because if you click on download update, you're just going to get a corruption error and it won't work. So below it, there is a link called, do you want to perform a fresh install of the full system software? If so, then click, then click it. It's going to take you to a little page below that's going to, that's going to give you some information and notice this is what's just going to happen. And you're going to need 900 megabytes of space, which um, approximately I say a gig of space can be required. And then just click the little download icon, download um, now on uh to click down to click to, to start the download and if you're downloading this on android to put on an sd card and then you have like a flash i have flash um micro sd um usb um, adapter then that would work as well because when you download from android what you're gonna i'm downloading as you see right now um it's gonna download the ps4 update dot in txt but all you need to do is download es file explorer or any file manager and then change the txt to pup that's it, and then place that into a folder, which is in, in your in, in your micro SD card called PS4 slash update, and then put it in there, and then take out the SD, turn off the device, turn off your phone, so you don't get corrupt, you don't get corrupted, and then put it in your micro SD card, and then we'll proceed on to the next step, which we're going to be continuing right about now. Now that you have the PS4 up and ready and you have it on, be sure to when to get into this mode, you need to um, press and hold until you hear a beep. You'll hear the beep, first beep, and when you hear a second beep, then that's pretty much when you know you need to let go and it'll take you to this. It'll ask you to plug into your, your controller into USB and you're ready to go. So this is what I have. I have a micro SD adapter and what we're gonna need to do is just gonna and I already have the update already onto the on to the SD card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this into into the the PS4, make sure it's fully secured. Then you're gonna go back onto your PS4, give it just a few seconds to to, to, to to recognize it. It won't give you it won't give you a notification of recognizing it. You just have to rely on your instinct. So you're gonna be in safe mode, you're gonna be given seven options and we're gonna go all the way to the seventh option. Don't go to Intellize PS4 and don't upload it the system software because this won't work. And we're gonna reinstall the PS4 system software. So click it, it's gonna connect to USB storage that contains an update for, for reinstallation for version, whatever versions your PS4 is on. And then click okay. However, even if you actually um, download a previous version of the software. You cannot do it um, because of the binary, um, the bio. So we're going to click OK and we're going to wait. It's going to say please wait. And um, then after it says please wait, it's going to check for the update and then it's going to format the operating system, format the PS4, and then it's going to update the system software and you'll be happy and dandy. So, and I'll show you everything, everything works. So don't worry. Don't worry. So, It just takes some time, so guys, so be aware this does take some time, and
Okay, now now that I loaded it, it'll ask, it'll tell you that the PS4 will be analyzed. Analyzed. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, because we don't have anything on the on the hard drive. So we're gonna click yes. And right now, what it's doing is not installing the firmware. It's formatting the hard drive, and it's not doing a full format. It's doing a quick format. So we, that's why I, I'm doing this on the computer. Does a full format, so you lose everything. And then it's gonna prepare. Pair is preparing the system update by copying the update from the SD card to the system storage. Now I don't tell, want you guys to just after it's completed and it does the update to remove the SD card because it may be still having access. It's got just in case. And it's good. This is going to take really fast preparing the system update software. Then the PS4 will restart and prepare updating the system software. So just give it a moment. Boom, there you go. Now it's going to restart. As you can see, it's still on. You have to make sure you have to ensure that the white light still and uh, white light will turn blue. If you just if it just keeps flashing like that, it's normal. But if it keeps flashing and does not turn on, then you have a big, really, big, really big, big problem. So it's loading up right now, and now it's performing the system software update. I'm actually going to be skipping this part so you guys can actually show that you know this is legitimate and it works. So I don't want you guys turning up to the whole thing. So I'll see you guys in just a moment, and we'll see you after the system software has installed. Now that the PS4 has successfully installed the operating system, what's going to happen is that the PS4 is going to automatically reboot and you can always see it's turning on and it will turn white. It will turn white and it should turn white. If it doesn't turn white, it stays blue and nothing happens like this. You don't see this, but something happened. So that's pretty much it. And all we have to do is just to set up, uh, set up the PS4 and that's pretty much it. There you go, all you have to do is to set up the PS4. Skip this. Then we're gonna have to accept that. And then boom, now the PS4 is fully installed. And you're ready, all ready to good to go. All you have to do is download all your stuff again, and there you go. As you can see, it's a little bit better than before. It will run a little bit better because you don't have a lot of things, and as well, it's a brand new operating system, so nothing is also stayed and corrupted in the, in the in the PS4. So you have a brand new PS4. You can actually check out how much storage after that. It may have given more, or it's just pretty much the same. Huh. a little bit better than before. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. All right, guys. If you guys didn't find this tutorial a little bit helpful, then drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.